off fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Hedgehog Vi stamp from Kamen Rider Revice. And this was a like exclusive to the Loppy convenience stores in Japan. I think when you bought a movie ticket, you could get this uh, if you bought the movie ticket from them. Now this is Kiva's Vi stamp. You can kind of see the little peaks of Kiva's helmet there in the background. You have the gold painted hedgehog here on the front. I love the look of the hedgehog, but I gotta be honest, this orangish-brown translucent plastic they chose for the front of this thing, I just think it's a terrible color. I really don't understand why they would go with this, like, orangish-brown color. I mean, Kiva's black and red and gold, any of those would have been a better idea. I'm not really sure what's going on with this one, but I do love the gold hedgehog here on the front. If we hit the button... So it says hedgehog... We got the uh, magnet plate here on the bottom, and that's also really hard to tell what that is. <laughs> it almost kind of looks like a hedgehog with maybe like shades on or something. Maybe it'll look better on the revised driver. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, it's got the typical marbling pattern here. Here is the QR code on the back. This is where you pull the tab out. The batteries are under this panel here. You got speakers on either side. So it's pretty cool. I like the Hedgehog. I like Kiva. I just really don't like this orangish brown translucent plastic. That's a swing and a miss for me. But let's go ahead. Let's bring in the Revice driver. So it doesn't really look much better on the Revice driver. Next up, we'll try it in the two-side driver. The Libera driver. Stop it! 
the weekend driver. The Demon's Driver. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. I like his little feet moving, but the rest of that, not really so great. And last but not least, the Orin Buster 50. Honestly, this silhouette makes him look like a character from Super Mario Brothers 2. So I think this guy is pretty cool. I mean, Kiva's one of my favorites, so I definitely wanted to pick up the Vi stamp that's associated with him. And I don't really know how a hedgehog is associated with Kiva. Obviously, I would have picked a bat, but I know bat was already taken. Uh, but I do really like the gold little hedgehog here on the front. I really don't care for the color of, of plastic they use for the translucent back here, but it is what it is. And this little outline here, I guess, it's kind of grown on me. It was a little weird at first, but these definitely look like little sunglasses. So like I said, it makes me think of something from Super Mario Brothers 2 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, it's fun. I definitely recommend picking one up if you can, especially if you've been collecting all the other Vi stamps up to this point. This one's a little bit harder to get a hold of because it was a store exclusive. And I really don't know what to expect to pay for it. I think the market's really going to vary on this one. It really just depends on how hard it gets to be to track down. But if you could get it for a reasonable price, I definitely think it's worth adding to the collection. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.